Adobe Premiere previously had a really cool lens distortion removal effect that you could throw onto videos like this one where you can see that there's kind of a fisheye effect. This was a video that I took with my GoPro and you can see it's quite, quite noticeable. Um, you can still remove this in Premiere Pro using just their lens distortion feature. It's not as cool as the old effect, but um, it's better than nothing, I guess. So go over to your effects and then just type in lens and you'll get this one here, lens distortion. Drag and drop that onto your video and then you've got your lens distortion effects controls. The one you want is the top one, which is curvature. And in this case, so you can kind of see all this distortion, I'm gonna drag it to the left. And with this, you just kind of need to eyeball it. There's no magic number. It'll vary depending on like the fisheye effect of your specific lens, but you can see what it's doing. It's kind of make zooming it in. But if you look over to the left here, it's also straightening out a little bit. And I'm gonna go right about there. So I've still got a bit of distortion here on the corner, but if I click it off, you'll see it's really noticeable, especially with this line. And then if I click it back on, you'll see that's much straighter uh, across the board. So that's really the best way to do it. All of these other ones are gonna do other things. Like for example, the vertical decentering is gonna move it off to the side. So notice if I drag that off, so you can play with that a little bit too as different effects. Um, this one, I could go just a hair to the right. Uh, I might actually go minus two but you get an idea of like what it is. The, the key one is gonna be that curvature and you're just gonna to have to adjust it as to best as you can possibly get. This one's really extreme. It was an extreme fish eye uh, on, the, on the, the GoPro. So not as cool as the old effect, but it still gives you a bit of lens distortion removal.